The tax that is deducted at source like VAT, sales tax on purchase of goods or service tax which is deducted from you without your consent by the seller and submitted to the government is called indirect tax. In simple words, indirect tax is the tax which is imposed on customers. This tax is collected by the sellers from the customers when they buy anything. Let us understand it in a better way with the help of this example. The tax on the basic public services like the speed post, telephone and mobile communication, transportation, restaurants and even beauty parlors is called service tax. It is also indirectly imposed on us. Another major tax is customs duty which is charged on the goods that we bring from foreign countries. Some factories also import raw materials from foreign countries. They also have to pay customs duty. VAT or value added tax is a tax that is placed on a product whenever value is added at a stage of production and at final sale. Over 120 countries worldwide have introduced VAT over the past three decades and India is amongst the last few to introduce it. India already has a system of sales tax collection wherein the tax is collected at one point first or last from the transactions involving the sale of goods. VAT would however be collected in stages that is installments from one stage to another. Under the VAT system no exemptions will be given and a tax will be levied at each stage of manufacture of a product. Implementation of VAT makes it difficult for traders and businessmen to avoid paying taxes. They will also be compelled to keep proper records of their sales and purchases. VAT would mean higher revenues to the financially hit states in the country. So far, the trading community was amongst the biggest offenders when it came to evading taxes. But with VAT, they would not be able to do any more. That is why you see so many protests taking place over VAT.